Hey view riders and uh, welcome to my review on the uh, Energica Ego. Uh, before I start the video proper, I just wanted to uh, run a few specs over. Um, so the uh, acceleration is uh, 0 to 60 in 2.6 seconds. Uh, the maximum speed is limited to 150 miles per hour and the range is c claimed combined 230 kilometers. But I reckon you're probably looking about 100 miles realistically uh, in uh, all kinds of riding. Uh, peak power is 171 horsepower and uh, torque is 159 pound foot. Um, all, all the other stuff is um, readily available online, so I won't go over the rest. Cheers and enjoy the video. I've not ridden a sports bike for a long while, so here we go. <laughs> oh yeah. So this is quite uh it's a bit extreme in a hard end position. What a lovely day. Yeah, so this is proper sports bike ride in position. And it's reminded me why I don't often ride sports bikes. <laughs> so, coming to a stop. I'm five foot ten. Uh, feet are just about flat on the floor. Oh yeah. Here we go! <laughs> Looking forward to this one. <laughs> oh, straight away. <laughs> I'm, only just, I'm only just touching the throttle and this thing wants to take off. Yeah, so riding position, typical sports bike. It's not comfortable. I'm in agony. But, uh, yeah! <laughs> The, uh, the laughter's a little though, it'll be worth it. <laughs> that suspension feels lovely, that's the first thing you're noticing. I was expecting it to be stiffer but it's uh, handling those bumps really well. Can't see a thing behind me though, the yeah, mirrors are... Uh... Maybe if I adjust them in a minute, we'll see. They look nice, that nice teardrop shape, but that's better. It's not too bad actually. I can just about see beyond me. Oh yeah, there's a lot of regeneration there. It is adjustable. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Oh, we are we're in sport mode straight away so it's not gonna bother me anything else this is fine <laughs> oh oh <wow. laughs> there's a, only one way I can describe this Oh! <laughs> it's like a cruise missile. <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, so I've ridden the uh, energy because the SS9 on the UV belly. Um, so I've got previous with energy. Uh, I can safely say. This reminds me why I loved him so much. And I, I used to think that uh, the live wire was possibly my favourite electric bike. But uh, over the uh, SS9 or Rebelly, but I think I've changed my mind. I, I, these energy because they're just. 
Bradford is full of character. <laughs> Anyone who says that electric bikes are boring, you don't know what you're talking about. So if we want to set the cruise controls, still one, the indicator on. Let's say. I need to change that region, I think. So the second cruise control is uh, nearly impossible. Ah, oh, there we go. So yeah, you have to press and hold up cruise button. It's rather difficult when you're riding. So this has got um, a standard obviously um, ABS and traction control uh, not lean angle sensitive oh wow yeah they're not lean angle sensitive which is a shame for the price I mean how it all works it's fine so when you try and uh, Grab a grab can for you can you can see the lights flashing on the dash indicating the um, traction control is on it's working but you can't feel it it's really subtle so yeah it's all a good system so nothing behind me front brake is I'll try somewhere a bit quiet actually Oh! 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 Ha 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 ha! tell you what, this is so... It's just deceptive. You don't realise how fast you go in. It just pulls like cruise missiles. So right in position. Yeah, I mean honestly, right forward, sports bike style. My knees are really bent. I'm in agony. My shoulders are hurting. But, uh, I've got my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> this, this is fast. So, stopping behind me, let's slow down and. Uh, oh, oh, oh! It's brutal. It's brutal. But at the same time. It's uh, it's not, it's hard to explain because it's so smooth. I mean, you can feel, and it's just got a chain drive, so I can feel that through the chassis. So the zeros haven't got, they're belt driven, so they're, they're, they're smoother. So you can feel that, but it also makes the bike, you know, more alive. Oh. The suspension on this is, this is phenomenal. This feels just right. I'm not getting pummeled. Plenty of feel from the chassis. Yeah. Suspension gets a thumbs up from me. Those mirrors look nice, but yeah, they're a bit useless. I won't be needing to go there, will I? <laughs> there we go, left. Okay, so it's slow speed. <laughs> because you're so... Because you're so far down, it's quite difficult to control. <laughs> so putting your feet down, you can you can feel the weight, but it's, uh, it's okay, it's controllable. It's not... you don't feel like you're going to drop it. Even more so than the uh, zeros, the best way to describe this is like a giant elastic band. <laughs> That's the best way to do describe the power delivery. Assault on the sensors. 
In terms of uh, weather protection, this is doing a, the screen's doing a good job. Yeah, I'm uh, getting, probably getting wind touching the top of my helmet. That's about it. Yeah, it's not unbearable. The seat is firm, but uh, it's a sports bike, so what do we expect? We're going around uh, uh, this one, yeah. Yeah, so this, the handling at slow speed, it is, I mean, this is a heavy bike and you, you can feel it. But it's, you know, what you have to expect. Okay. Oh, need to lift my leg over. I don't want to catch a paint work. Oh, so. Side stand, a bit of a stretch to pull back up. So, front right, there you go. Nothing. If we press and hold it, we get a reverse mode. How cool is that? And then if you press it again, you've got a slow movement forward. And press and hold, and we're going again. Here we go. Yeah, so riding position, typical sports bike. Mirrors the pants, but they look good. I suppose that's what matters, isn't it? Suspension is fantastic. It's nice you're on the bends when you're moving, just a bit heavier at slower speeds. I do like that regeneration actually, you don't really need to touch the brakes. Damn it. A brake test. Yeah, <laughs> plenty of power there. Uh, rear brake, predictably, is just a uh, ABS. It's okay at lower speeds, but high speeds are just the ABS kicking in.
Yeah, so this is a mighty fine machine. Very expensive though. When you look at uh, 28 to 30. I can't remember what they start at, but high 20s through to the 30 grand. <laughs> yeah, it's a very expensive machine, easy. Uh, it's not getting away from it, but uh, yeah, it's all safe. Incredibly thrilling. Yeah, I don't even need to touch the brakes. So it's slow speeds. Yeah, fine. I mean, uh, there's only so much control you can get on a sports bike at really low speeds, but I don't know, it feels really nice actually. It's quite it's really well balanced. Yeah, that's really well balanced. Oh, and then you pick up in an instant. I so say I've not messed around with uh, any of the settings. It's in sport mode. Traction control is on third setting. Yeah, I don't need to mess about with anything. It all feels good. The only thing I would like to play about with is the. Um, Regeneration is a bit strong, but I haven't got enough time to do much. In terms of practicality, there's no USB ports as standards, but there is a, there are heated grips. Bonus on the sports bike. Lope. So that chassis is immense, so I can feel everything the bike's doing. Yeah, really? so the steering is heavy at uh, lower speeds. You can feel it, but uh, you know, once you get uh, the walking pace is fine. That uh, wine is like a, it's incredible. It's like a jet fighter. <laughs> uh, I've got a huge grin on my face. <laughs> yeah, the, the trouble with all this power on tap is it? You can get into trouble so easily. So yeah, that tracks really nicely. Yeah, you're always gonna have to be aware of speed. You don't really, you don't realise just how fast you're going and how quickly that speed comes. Well, it's supposed to be going this way. There's no one behind me. Now this is the kind of ride I need to be on an adventure bike though. Kilimoto. She's doing fine though. So, uh, what rider is this bike aimed at? I mean, this is obviously aimed at uh, um, sports bike fiends. This is definitely not a beginner's bike by any stretch of the imagination. This is a bike for proper sports bike fiends. I'm guessing that because it's electric, I'm like, ooh, I don't want that. I'd rather petrol power. But uh, trust me, this is plenty of fun. I don't even miss the gears so much because of that relentless torque. <laughs> I mean, I'm learning. I'm literally only about a quarter of a throttle when it has started forward.
Oh, 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 That throttle is just absolutely lovely. Connection within your wrist. What a rear wheel will do, does. It's fantastic. Here she is in all her glory. That looks lovely in the black. So much attention to detail, like the uh, you know, Gica logos. Everywhere. So standard tyres. Uh, Michelin. Power GP. Good tyres. You got your water Brembo brakes. Um, Mazzotti forks. And uh, Bichibo rear shock, so you got all proper kit on here. This is a well equipped bike, and that is one good looking bike. It is a work of art. There you go, hopefully, you can see that. Very nice. It's a uh, I would say for a um, for the price of this bike, a nice full TFT dash would be better, but it is what it is. I'm sure you can get Bluetooth connection and everything on that, but I haven't got time to go for all the options. There's not much that will, I mean, I mean there's anything that will pretty much beat this off the line. So let's have a look. Look at this, coming to a stop here, look at that. Foot on the rear brake, lovely. I say that does feel a little bit ponderous at slow speeds. Oh, the way that bubble builds, the way it thrusts you forward. Oh, it's just. Oh, this is. Oh! Just incredible! Would I own one of these myself? Uh, I think the riding position will be too extreme for me, personally. But having said that, if I actually had a huge garage and plenty of cash, there's absolutely, I'd have one of these for a, you know, quick blast on a, uh, Turning white here on a sunny day. Very lucky with the weather today because it was absolutely chucking it down this place. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, so this isn't a bike that uh, you'll better go touring on unless you're uh, a masochist. But, you know, I reckon you could, you could easily get 100 mile range from this. So you can get a decent day's riding in. I mean, you, I don't think you'd want to ride more than 100 miles on this, to be fair. <laughs> I 
Could be agony. <laughs> You'd never ever get bored of that shrub. You're never going to lose any drag race at the lights. What's not to love? <laughs> the suspension is doing its best to keep me comfortable. <laughs> but it is a hell of a bit of a bumpy section. So, is this my favourite energy car? No, nah, still that, that, that still goes to the uh, SS9, I think. That's the uh, electric bike. I would definitely own myself right now. That was not to say that the, I mean this is huge fun. <laughs> I'm gonna miss this uh, acceleration to be honest more than anything. <laughs> so yeah, I don't find myself missing the gears or anything. Just concentrate on the front. <laughs> yeah, just concentrate on that front and uh, where you going. <laughs> <laughs> you can feel that traction control there actually. <laughs> it is smooth but oh bloody hell. <laughs> yeah, it is smooth but you can feel it. <laughs> I really want to ride this wouldn't want to ride this bike without a traction control there. He did show me how to uh, uh, turn it off, but yeah, I, I don't think I wouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, the noise from the motor is obviously going to be a level hate thing, but I think it's brilliant. It just, I said, it just. It just makes it sound like a missile. <laughs> How can anyone not have fun on this? I really, really <laughs> don't know. So once again, um, just a uh, thank you to everyone at uh, the English Electric Motor Company for let me play with some of their bikes today. It's been another great day. As I've said before, I am a electric bike convert. I was never against them, but uh, I came in with an open mind when I first tried one. Uh, last year and, uh, and yeah I'm definitely a convert oh oh <laughs> honestly it's relentless What a machine! Oh, what a motor! Can't 
Let's see engine. Turning circle. Yes. That's fine. That's all right actually. Bit of rear brake. Oh, it's a nine line nicely. Oh, hold on tight! <laughs> so, thanks for watching my video, V Riders. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, in conclusion, uh, the Energica Ego Plus RS is a fantastic machine. Um, if you've still have any doubts about electric power i implore you to just uh, give one a go and if you're after an electric bike and you want something a bit sporty then uh, this is a, a superb uh, proposition so uh, head over to uh, the english electric motor company and uh, you know ask them for a test ride they'll be happy to oblige um cheers guys yeah. Please super consider liking the video and uh, subscribing if you want to see more videos like this. Take it easy.